I'm sure a lot of people have been seeing all the rumors um, lately with the pen sale, the, the Vox article, and even before that. So it's something that Erica and I have been working on, I don't know, six, eight months, something like that. Um, and it's a great thing. We've been keeping it quiet and secret in as tight a circle as we could possibly keep it for a variety of reasons. But with us, obviously, we're a lightning rod, and we didn't want, you know, necessarily press negative, positive, anything. But long story short, um, those rumors, there was truth to them. And tomorrow morning, we are going to be announcing 7 a.m., um, Penn is going to be doing a press release followed by myself and a press conference and Erica and I doing day, a day of touring and hopefully Dan, myself, um, you know, Brennan Walker, and Mush will all be working hand in hand to try to make them the biggest gambling company in the country. became official yesterday I, I I've been working on it probably six to eight months maybe longer um, my parents have known about it but very few people at Barstool knew about it we tried to keep it as tight a circle as possible only absolutely critical people to the deal were aware of it because we didn't want to leak and press and all and anything that could screw it up because I really thought it was a perfect fit so we've been working for it um, for a long time it's surreal I talked to my parents yesterday. My mom was, like, crying. Um, but I think overall, whether in gambling or not in gambling, this is going to be the best move for us because it opens the door to so many different things. So this is um, this is one of those symbiotic relationships. It's not a takeover. They don't own us. It's a partnership, and it's one that seems to make sense. The stock before we came in, the company before we came in, seemed to be on the right trajectory. Right? It wasn't like a desperate company looking for us to bail them out, and vice versa. We're not a desperate media company looking to be bailed out. So it looks like two uh, two successful parties trying to get more successful. I, I like it. I'm, I mean, I won't comment on the stock. I happened to buy some today, and it's up it's up just over nine percent already on some heavy ass volume. So I mean, sometimes you see somebody buying somebody else, and the stock will come in. So Wall Street is pointing to it being a good deal. I talked to a couple of friends. They said that they like the way the deal signs up. I got nothing wrong with this. And I think I'm going to get a lot of free hotel rooms and shit. So, one win, right? Right. Hell yeah. Changing dealers. Hell yeah. <laughs> Meeting Erica, I mean, I met her by accident. Like, Churn and Group put together maybe 100 people with recruiters for me to hire CEOs. And I met Erica through a mutual acquaintance. With Erica, no intention of taking the job. She had something else. And we just hit it off. And I asked her, and I'm like, do you know who this Erica Nardini is? And they did. They're like, yeah, she's really talented. Why? I'm like, we met, and I love her. Awesome. Uh, it's a huge day for Barstool. Like, we, I've been working on this on, like, nights and weekends for six months. Like, a long time now. Um, I think it's, what we're doing is revolutionary. Like, it's truly revolutionary. We are going to, like, we're the future of media. Um, they have... Penn, they have this like massive footprint that they they've never brought young people into. We're gonna bring stoolies there. We're gonna make it together. Everyone's gonna say we suck and can't be done. Um, but I'm so bullish on it. I think that we're gonna change the casino business and the sports betting business the same way we're changing the content and media business. And we're still gonna be funny. We're still gonna do entertainment. We're just now going to bring stoolies instead of going to like a parking lot in Youngstown, Ohio. Like we're going to have a good place to go. I don't know what I would do if I was faced with a decision where, hey, Dave, here's a insane 
generational amount of money, which is pretty much what I have now, if I was given that, but you're going to lose half the guys you've hired, I think I'd probably turn that down as crazy as that sounds. Like, there is a degree of loyalty I have to the people, as long as I feel like you're working hard and giving an A-plus like effort here, I have pretty intense loyalty to like our guys, the guys I hire. That's why nobody ever leaves for the most part. So that would have been an interesting one. Luckily, I wasn't forced with it. Like Penn shares the same exact vision kind of I do. So it's crazy. I've been, I've known about it for a little bit. It's been, uh, it's been, I don't I think it hasn't really hit me. Like when you see, I was, th I was thinking a lot like light, late last night, actually, when I, when I was, Erica actually like had me, I got to sit in the call where they like go around the room and they're all like, I signed the agreement. I signed, it was surreal to hear it. And then I think I got home and I fell asleep at like 11 and then I woke up at three and all I could think about was it was like the first time it hit me. And I was thinking a lot, it's like sentimental, it's weird. I, I haven't had the sentiment, even when Dave sold it a few years ago, it didn't hit like now. And I think it's because it's such like an absurd number, it feels like. Like 50 million, I felt like that was low. I felt like we were bigger than that. And like, now it's like, shit, it's like almost a half a billion dollar company. And like, I thought, I guess, the first day I worked at Dave and it was like sitting at his kitchen table and it was like, what do I do today? It's like, you have to message and in, in, in literally friend just random people to like beg them to come to an event. And it's like crazy to see where we are there when it's just me and him and then Jenna um, as well. And now it's like, you know, 200 of us and it's a half a billion dollar company and all these like, everyone just like believing in Barstool and all the people here that care about it. Um, I, I, it's just, it's, it's surreal. Uh, I don't think it, I don't know. It's unbelievable. I have unlimited money now. Like I have unlimited money. It's crazy. That's so crazy, man. It's fucking crazy. I mean, crazy. I have unlimited money. It's months. weird that I'm so happy for you because it, like, it doesn't affect my bottom line at all. But I'm like, man, me and Dave at Starbucks, that motherfucker's paying <laughs> Yeah, for right? Sure. I think now I, I don't know if that's just Next like... time we go to San Diego together, I'm getting the sea bass, my friend. I mean, a million dollars is personally for me. I can't com comprehend how much money that would be in like a bank account for $450 million this company would be worth and for Dave to have unlimited money and for people like Rob Equity, like he and can't see Big Cat guys, like it's incredible. It's incredible. I'm happy for everybody. It's incredible. I, I got I brought, I brought hired in 2014. There were probably 10 bloggers, just a couple of us spread all over the country. And then literally from the time I got hired, and even way before I got hired, it's always just been going up, up and up and up and up. I was there for a couple of years, then the churn thing happened. We all moved to New York. Now the pen, uh, now the pen thing is happening. It's just this place is unlike anywhere else. It's unlike any other company where it's always on the up. I mean, it's great. It, it's kind of I think it's you know rising tide. Why did I keep sharing screwing that up? Uh, rising tide floats all boats. I think it's great. Uh, it's what I've always wanted to do. So it, it's win-win. Uh, <laughs> fucking rich. That's nice. But now I want to like own a sports team. So that's the next stop. I called my sister and told her like, you know my niece and nephew. I'm like I can pay for their college and whatever whatever else you need. That was cool. Um, but no, it's just going. And now I'm watching the stock like a fucking every 10 seconds, not like I'm selling any time. But it's up like almost 10%, which is fucking awesome. Uh, is I awesome. think I got And I, I've been off, so I haven't been able to fire a lot of funny, witty tweets yet. <laughs> so this is Jay. Um, Jay Snowden is the CEO of Penn National, and he's our partner. So big round of applause for Jay. <laughs> I thought because we're partying with Penn National, Luck Be a Lady by Frank Sinatra would be a good song. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know if I hard because it's very spur of the moment, but I'll pull up the lyrics and welcome aboard. This is our first gift to you. <laughs> luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Come with me, baby. I'm the fella you're in love with. Luck be a lady tonight. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> I wouldn't have done this deal, and I could have stopped it at any point if I wasn't totally comfortable with Jay and his team. Uh, it's not too different from when I did the churn deal, where I kind of knew right away it was the right fit for us. Um, and it's good for everybody. 
if uh, I actually posed that question to myself on the radio as well, like what I would have done if, you know, I would have made a shit ton of money, but like half our guys would have, you know, had to go or something changed. I don't think I do that deal. Like, this is good for everybody. Um, I think when you guys get to know Jay more, you'll feel the same way I do. So I'm psyched. It's a huge day for us. Hopefully, a huge day for Penn um, and a huge day for Barstool. So I'm excited. I'm I'm really truly excited. I think the biggest thing that I that I've taken away from the last 24 hours is we're not changing Barstool. So not everyone here has to to promote sports betting. We're not only going to do sports betting. We are growing Barstool Sports the same way we've grown Barstool Sports for the last three and a half years, and Dave's grown it for you know the 15 years before that. We are going to build the single biggest and best, I would say, content media company in entertainment, in sports, in comedy, in social, in humor, in live events. We're going to do it with Penn, with their support, and when it comes to sports betting, it's all Barstool Sportsbook all the time. So that's the headline for you guys. You're singing Kiss from a Rose? Yeah, from Seal. Yeah, Seal. 1995 from a Rose. classic. Yep. I remember. Yeah, it's good. Uh, what movie? Uh, Kiss by a Rose. Oh, Kiss by a Rose. But it was. Yeah, but. What movie? Batman. Returns? Forever. Fuck! You guys should hang out more. <laughs> we do hang out a lot. <laughs> We're gonna have a dead night. Yeah. We are gonna have a dead night. What do you yeah, mean we're we gonna? Are. Yeah. I think he's just taking his pants off and going shirtless in a yellow speedo. I think. Underneath? You can see it under the white pants, under the white shorts. <laughs> oh, the shirt. <laughs> what does the shirt say? I'm in Miami, bitch. But nobody is watching. One of the weirder places too. It's like pretty fancy and all like very Italian. I'm just gonna be like, Shh. so he's just gonna drop trow in the. <laughs> you see him? I'm going with the heavy duty earphones, Dan. Yeah. Dude, you gotta. I take this shit seriously, Rudy. Have you had a panic attack yet? Can you see? Can you see how serious you? Oh, here he goes. Oh my God. Time. <laughs> Where are we at? La Legenda Pizzeria. Super Bowl week. Super Bowl week. Mm -hmm. Getting the Miami vibe here. That's what we do. And then stop. That's what we do. <laughs> <laughs> Such a get up, man. That lady, she liked what she saw. <laughs> yeah, she did. <laughs> so, stripping down in there, a little awkward. I got my Phillips and Relco one blade right here. We got rough and rowdy tonight. Everyone thinks that you know you want to use a one blade for something like shaving your face. I got a beard, I line it up real nice, but I also shave my arms a little bit. If you got a full sleeve, guys, bang. You want that to look smooth? Doing it right now with a one blade. You can get yours actually. It's Phillips.com slash Norelco Barstool. You use the promo code Barstool, five dollars off. It's a deal, it's a bargain. You wanna be baby smooth? Woo. Come get yours. I'm happy without you. I'm so happy for you. Couldn't be happier. So, oh, Frank, did you get a haircut or what I did you wear today? I had one, but I just didn't wear a hat today. He said it's worth this much money. Don't think you can't be worth this much anymore. It has to work with you guys.
coming back and forth, right? No, it flies all day for the next three days. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'll look through all of them, but like that's like one of them. Uh, I mean, we'll be way closer on the beach, right? There it is. How many people are going to start sending that? Probably pretty quick. I see your video. What truck? I didn't know you were up here. Did you see it, Kevin? What? Yeah, pretty cool, huh? I mean, this has got to be the worst Super Bowl week ever for the NFL, right? Well, because it's one of the best games, like matchup-wise. But it's just another juice, man. What's up, David? The city doesn't care, Kobe. So, Brandon Walker is going to, we have it set up, he's going to walk with Devlin and Dana down to haagen -Dazs. He's going to be on the phone the entire time. Actually, you know what, Brandon? Call us when you get to haagen -Dazs. All right, and, and, and we want to hear you do the order, okay. and then you're going to carry seven cones back. Right. You got to get one for Chad Johnson, and yeah, go. All beat right, it. so he's going. Beat it. Cones, beat all cones. Beat. I don't want a cone, but okay. I don't, no, you have to get a cone. I don't want a cone. You have to get a cone. You have to be, If you don't bring back seven cones, you have to do pin central. All right. All right. Is that Mark Cuban? Is that Mark Cuban? How you doing? You see that? Where? Mark Cuban's right there. Mark! Hey, how you doing? Hey, there's Mark Cuban. That's the fucking kid. Hey, Mark. Get them take a picture with you. Ready? Hey, yeah, we'll get a picture. You know Mark Cuban's over there. You want a picture of me? Yeah. Fuck the wall. Yes, sir. Guy wants a picture with me. There's Mark Cuban. He wants a picture with me. <laughs> the world that is. What just happened? I, somebody chose a picture over you, or with you, over Mark Cuban. <laughs> Mark Cuban was just walking by like, who's this famous motherfucker from Mississippi? But anyway, we got some good looking ladies to the right. All right, shut up. All right. Brandon. Brandon. Yeah, hey. Yeah, I'm here. You're at Hawk and Dawes? <laughs> How's the line? Did you see what just happened? No, we're we're a block away from you. When I was leaving, uh, Mark Cuban was walking by, and there was this stoolie that wanted a picture, and he like pushed Mark Cuban aside so he'd get a picture with me. Yeah, that never I don't, happened. I don't believe that. That. that doesn't sound true at all. We've seen yeah. everything. We've we got it. All. We got it. Yes! <laughs> all right, relax, yeah. man. You got seven cones to walk back. You got to be calm. I... I know, where are the line? I need, I need seven cones. Okay. Uh, all mint chocolate chip. Okay. Can I get that? Which size? Small or regular? Uh, regular size cones. These are big boys. Do you have any cones bigger than that? No. That's, That's the biggest you got? Yes. Does anybody want a cone with sprinkles on it? I do. Yeah, I would love one. Yes, all sprinkles, all please. Sprinkles. All sprinkles. I'll do sprinkles. Well, there's multiple people in here, and I don't want to. I like your shoes. Thanks, man. Oh, what if I told you there was a guy in here wearing a chain that says Snack Day? Well, I'd like you to get him on the phone. Yeah, on talk the to yeah. him. Bring him back. But get he can't talk? carry right the right cones. Right yeah, let's talk to Snack Daddy. Oh. Here, here's Snack Daddy. How am I going here? Oh, yeah, you got to put the on. Hello. Right, here's one. What kind of snacks are you, like your snack daddy? What's your main snack? Probably a uh, wealthy fruit snack. Oh, what? Oh, that's oh, a, oh, no, that's a snack classic. pussy. That's right. not hell. What are you talking about? It's guilt free. You know it's a classic. Damn. All right, last night we ordered about $400 worth of chicken tenders and fries in 11. Bro? <laughs> that worth it? That better? Is that better? You buried, yeah. you buried the lead, Snack Daddy. That's yeah. what we're talking about. You are truly Snack Daddy. Help me get my headphones. Yeah, I got you. Thank you, Snack Daddy. You're getting ice cream on your headphones there, bud. Yeah, thank you. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. 
Thank you, Snack Daddy. Okay, uh, I'm back. Why don't you mute the phone until you have the the uh, cones in your hands, and then and then unmute okay, bye. it. Okay, Okay, all right. Mute it. Just mute it. I can't carry all this. It looks like a, it looks like a, uh, those headphones. I can't, I can't do it. You're gonna have to help. No, that's, I, don't I can't, we can't help. We're not allowed to help. I can slide the phone in your pocket. I can't do it. Snack Daddy so really brought the noise though. Dude, like, he, that, what a comeback. That was of such the chicken tenders. Yeah, that was a ro I mean, That's not totally, really a snack though. But he rope a dope to us. He was like, oh yeah, you know, Welch's, you know, fruit snacks. Oh yeah, yeah I also ordered 400 chicken tenders. Let's break that down <laughs> a little bit. How much, how many chicken tenders is that? If you spend $50 on chicken tenders, you're getting so many chicken so tenders. So many. Um, I mean, I need two more of these. What do you want, Angela? <laughs> He just wants Vanilla. He's a he's a he's a plain guy. You take my headphones off so I can talk to him. <laughs> Sorry. Vanilla chocolate chip. Uh, yeah, yeah, vanilla chocolate chip. Fine. Uh, sprinkles, please. No, we no, I'll pay for it. No, we ask me to. I, I don't care. Well, okay, I just want to. I got a big cat's credit card. If he's gonna do this to me, big cat's buying these motherfuckers ice cream. Today is my birthday too, you know. Happy birthday! Hold on, January 30th? Yeah. On the 31st, baby. Oh my God. Your birthday's tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> 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 I didn't know. 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 I yeah, unmute it and hold it up to my phone. Yeah, it's unmuted. It's unmuted. Hold it closer to my mouth. Yeah, we're coming. Snack Daddy's helping me. Snack, oh, Daddy. Snack Daddy. Oh, fuck yes. Let's get Snack Daddy on the show. So wait, wait, you're not holding all seven? I have four and Snack Daddy has the other. That's not part of the that deal. That wasn't part you're of the deal. That wasn't part of the deal. Uh, Dan. Dan, you, you bought uh, Snack Daddy's ice cream and this other big guy's ice cream. And there were two other people from Baltimore. You bought their ice cream. How much ice cream? What was the final tally? You spent $92 on ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you walking so slow? He doesn't think that he does. It was an ice cream tossing. Ice cream on the ride. Showing up. Thank you. Turn it off. Snack Daddy, you know what? We'll have we'll have Snack Daddy on the show. Uh, we'll come back. We'll take a quick break. We'll just come back. We'll do more yak. We'll try to eat these ice cream as fast as possible. Uh, that was Daddy, mine. It's all right. You can have another one. Hey, Brandon. Yo, Snack Daddy, what's up, man? Yo, sit down. Sit down right there. Oh my God. Wait, hold on. Wait, take a picture of What'd you get? Is that cookies and cream? Yeah, they, they didn't, uh, they were super stingy on the napkin. Oh, wow. The, is it that no, 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 My birthday's tomorrow. My birthday's tomorrow. My birthday's tomorrow. By the way, that was the first to snack that in. a terrible job as a host. Snack that you, you, I obviously imagine what you look like. You exceed those expectations. Because you truly are the snack that you look like. Yeah, you got Yeah, yeah, yeah. He does. All right, we don't want to take a picture Snack Daddy, here he is, that's Snack Daddy. We're celebrating. We're celebrating a big deal, you know? $450 million and free ice cream in Miami. That's a thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. That's such a thumbnail. We know him. Name another CEO at a company that'll just like basically make out with you through ice cream. Thumbnail. <laughs> Rudy's getting the other angle. That was wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, thank you so much for the content. What's up? What do you need? Did I offend the snack daddy? I don't know, but that was funny as fuck. <laughs> what, I said the fire fest thing? Everything. Yeah. Well, he, he was ready to jump the table when you call him an influencer. Right? Yeah, he was not happy. Telling it, his agent like cut him off. That's hilarious. That's the worst thing you can do for you. Uh, uh, 
that you caught a, caught yeah, a sniff. We're gonna get I did catch a then. sniff. As soon as we Frank catch a is rat. a pussy because he's like a Jets fan. He's like, we're going to get him in trouble. He didn't say anything. Cut it off. Frank up Frankie? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I'm going to get in trouble. I'm like, he literally didn't say anything. He started, he's like, it wasn't a common ground. And it was a girl who, in his age, like, Ugh. and then we saw him again after. I'm like, is there anything you want to cut out? I'm like, well, no, you didn't get the whole story. It's like, what can be story? You kissed a girl in the model. And I go, mm, it was that out when? So there's something to it, but I don't know how. The only thing that makes sense is if it was like a targeted attack. Like they wanted to plant mono in like, how could there be more to that story? Exactly. Five times on mono. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> what is that in the system? Is that the same system for like a year? I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've never heard that. I've actually, I've, I've actually never heard that. I'm trying to think. A girl I actually dated is like the biggest Jets fan. She had like a custom mono shirt. Yeah. It's yeah. good. A little weird. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. I've never heard of it. It's the first time I've ever heard of it. Yeah, man. Stay out of bounds and common ground. It was, uh, I mean, it wasn't there. Pretty, yeah. Well, it wasn't. No. Was it New York? Uh, it was, it was New York. It was a place that I expect. Yeah. Well, catch mono. Actually, it wasn't there. Yeah. Those places I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I can roll in. <laughs> Ready? All right, here we go. Barstool Sports Advisors. <clears throat> FanDuel Sportsbook is now live in PA, New Jersey, and Indiana. If you're a new user betting on the big game, download the FanDuel Sportsbook app and register with promo code STOOL for an exclusive 20 to 1 odds when you place your first bet of $5 on the over or 54.5 points. That's a $5 bet to win $100 on the over in the big game. Thank you, John Kelly. Barstool Sports Advisors. Barstool Sports Advisors, big game props. Come on, Donnie, let's go. <clears throat> uh, Fan New Sports Book is now live in PA and New Jersey. Fan Duel Sports Book, PA, New Jersey, and Indiana. If you're a new user betting on the big game, download Fan Duel Sports Book app and register with promo code STOOL for exclusive 20 to 1 odds on your first when you place your. Do you have. We're taking a video in the pool. Porter said, hey, I need a little help. I was sitting here working, a couple other people were sitting here working, and he's like, will you jump on that float and hold a nav bottle up in the air, and I'm gonna just get drone footage, it'll be like the end shot or whatever we need. And Casey was here, I said, Casey, do you wanna do it? Casey said, no, I gotta run and do Snapchat. So I was like, sure, I'll just sit there. It's gonna be like my silhouette. So I sat there. For literally five minutes, we took drone footage, and within like two minutes, there was a helicopter circling the entire hotel from like a pretty wide angle, and all of a sudden, it got closer and closer, and like Ron and Willow, or Willow, Wally, and whatever, fucking Wallow and Gilly, I can't say their names. They were all chatting on their porches, like everyone was out and about. Next thing we know, 18 FBI guys come all the way up here. They're circling us and they're like looking for Porter because you know, I'm a criminal. Drone, drone footage. They took him, they cornered him, they questioned him. I texted Eric and I was like, I think we have a situation on our hands. Next thing you know, Eric comes down in her robe. We're all getting questioned. I guess it's a criminal offense to fly a drone in this area, in, especially during Super Bowl week. So we got to get our, the moral of the story is we got to get all our drones permits and we will be able to fly and we'll be back. That's it. Get in there, Dana. I don't really, I'm not a very good swimmer. Get that frame in there. <laughs> oh, man. This a practice round? Well, no, no practice. Wallow versus Dana. <laughs> oh, it's neck and neck. <laughs> I got it! I got it! Wow, I got it! Got it. Oh, Dana, what happened was it was a great race. Yo, why are you grabbing it? <laughs> Yo, hold on. Yo, you about to get a sexual assault case no, down here, man. Dana. What's wrong with this man? We got on no, video. I see him swimming. You all on top of him. Dana. Hey, he's slow. He's slow. He's slow. My ass was out the whole time. But that was just a show for the ladies, you know? You know, when he came up out the water, you was like, Yo, I was... Come on, you're next. He told me he felt like his innocence. <laughs> well, yes, I think so, Bro, there's no way you can swim better than me, dog. You've been locked up. Oh, that's right. You was the captain of the swim team. I, oh, that's right. You was a lifeguard in jail. He was a lifeguard, so he might can swim better than me. He was a lifeguard in jail. Oh, Lord. Why this water so cold like this? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. <laughs> never mind. That shit is 
Come on, cuz. No, that shit is beyond. That shit is like. That's like 30 degree water right there. I hey, thought. Cuz, you... Oh, this shit. All right, dude. Take me in a bitch. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> you like a little fool whore. <laughs> yeah, all right, I'm out. <laughs> Coming in, you ready? Come on, get in, man. All right, come on. Oh. <laughs> no. Hey, he's going down. <laughs> he's going. Y'all taking it. It's very little. All right, all right, all right, all right. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, it's not even close. Ah, destroy me! Destroy me! Come on, you're mine now, you belong to me! Hey, get Shut up! Me. I got you. We went. Stop. Hey, Don't fight it. Don't fight. He's a nice nigga. Just be a man, bro. No. It's gonna be oh, easy. Oh, no. It's gonna be easy, too. <laughs> see ya! Oh, it's the ball. See ya. See ya coming. I had the wrong. I had the wrong game plan. If we do it again, I'll win. No. <laughs> I had the wrong game plan. It's not about the fall, it's about to get back. Watch I'm a this. legend. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Let's go. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where you at? Right here, right Oh, yeah. Y'all ready on camera? Y'all cue now? Yep. He's trying to grab him. He's trying to grab him. I killed him. This is what legends do. And I had Speedos on. You got beat by a guy with Speedos on. Ethica Speedos. I'm a legend out here. That's a flag on the plate, like that's a fucking personal crap. I beat Dana, I beat you. Certain things that you do 20 years in jail, you can't talk about. Yeah, I know. Another man's ass is one of them. Like. You're a loser. Probably lay in bed and text people being like, what's up? And then not go anywhere. Or just like reply to a lot of people. That's fun though too. That's fun though too. And just be like, yeah, yeah, no, maybe I'll come out for one. That's fun in its own way. Yeah. <clears throat> PhD, isn't your birthday pretty soon? It's tomorrow. That's a year. We were born back to back days, same year. Some would say the most legendary two year run or two day run of the history of podcasting. <laughs> in terms of births? Yeah. I, I, I tweeted happy birthday at Big Cat today, but really the only reason he's born one day before me is because his dad wasn't as good as sex. His dad came too quick. My dad was like tantric. I mean, the evidence shows it. The evidence. You can't <laughs> dispute the evidence. I'm trying to come up with a counter argument, and I can't. You can't. I'm, I'm also waiting to see if I qualify for Jeopardy. I feel like I did really good on the test last night. I was drunk at Carissa Thompson's party, and um, I show up. No, we had to get on like a real show. You had to get on the real show Jeopardy. Oh, okay. I showed up, and I was panicking because <laughs> my phone was telling me I had like two minutes before the test was going to start. So I come inside, and I'm like, oh shit, where am I going to take this test? I'm going to be the only nerd in this uh, in this party taking a Jeopardy online entrance exam. Unfortunately, Charlotte Wilder and Jess Matana from Sports Illustrated were right there at the first table inside, so I sat down with them, and I was like, hey, not to be a nerd, but I'm gonna spend the next 20 minutes doing this quiz. So I, I think I did really well, though. I think it was 50 questions. I felt confident on 40 of them, so anywhere between like 40 and 45 I got right, I think. What happens with the, te with the test now, with Jeopardy? Uh, now I wait, now I wait to hear back from Alex Alex is gonna email me and let me know if I made the Personally, show. Personally, actually, I think it'd probably be a text. Yeah, probably. How long do you know? I have no idea. So, like, I'm just gonna be on pins and needles. I, I think it. I think my chances are pretty good. In fact, I don't think that this is gonna determine whether or not I make the show. I think I'm gonna go do like a live one, like a practice mm -hmm. one, if I did well on the test. I think there are like two levels of screening. Are you addicted to just trying out for things? That's, that's a good point. I might yeah, be. You might, you might have an addiction. I hadn't thought question. about that. Yeah, that's a very good question, really. I tried out for Jeopardy when I was in high school. I made it to the, the live interview part for like the Team Jeopardy tournament. Uh, but, you know, it's all politics. <laughs> it's all politics, so they're like, no, you can't do it.
fuck, I am addicted to trying out for things. Uh. <laughs> it's got like music <laughs> underneath it though. Let me see it again. <laughs> Oh man, dude. <laughs> Shirtless, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that like on a party bus? Yeah. <laughs> That's like random stoolies, too. That was the funny part. <laughs> It's like a DraftKings contest, so there was like five just random ass. It was like yeah. us. It was like. It's actually the first time we ever met PFT. First time I ever met PFT. Yeah, that was. Yeah. Night. Five it was on your birthday? Five years ago yeah. today. Damn. Crazy. Wow. I introduced him to Hank wow. and Dave. Yeah, that it's our friend anniversary wow. today. It's ours. People don't happy, do that enough. Yeah, people don't celebrate that enough. Although, our, it was more of like a. Uh, <laughs> we met. We met. Tonight, <laughs> and then we didn't really become friends for like two years, but. <laughs> Damn, what took so long? What'd you <laughs> say, PFC? I told people you were my friend. Damn, would you would you say? People? I said we met. I mean, I, I I we met in the house. I think I took one sip of Mad Dog. And then we were in a club, so I don't think we really were conversing much. Hank just put me in the acquaintance zone. Yeah, you totally did, dude. It's on the, tough, man. On the friend's no, versary. He, he just gave you a swig of Mad Dog? What yeah. flavor? Well, I knew him I knew him from Twitter. I was like, oh, PFT commentary from Twitter's coming over. I was like, it's lit. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> it's lit. <laughs> what flavor Mad Dog? Was it bling bling? Uh, it was green, I think. I don't know the green one. What's the green one, PFT? It's happened here at Margarita. It's I've never spread. tried that one. It's, it's a regional flavor yeah, to the American <laughs> Southwest. So. Yeah, I've never seen that. It was one. actually a very, very. Wow, that was so nice. Of you yo, no, it was a very one. good gift that I brought. It's a Mad Dog that you can't get anywhere. A rare Mad Dog, and Hank and I enjoyed it together and had a wonderful evening <laughs> out in Scottsdale uh, with the Gronkowski brothers. And uh, then I went home and I was like, I got to meet Henry Lockwood from Barstool Sports, and now we're best friends. That's my friend, and then he just. That's my friend Hank, and uh, I guess he didn't feel the same way. You also were wearing your sunglasses, so I forgot. Like, I was like, wait, I think I met PFT commentary last night. I, know, I, was, I was with you for like five hours. <laughs> <laughs> I think I met PFT commentary last night, I think. You know that picture of Tom Cruise where he's in Valkyrie and he's like falling down on the ground and he gets up and he's got a huge ass here? Yeah, he looks good in that. Dummy thick. Yeah. Dummy thick. They want to know if that's the real size of his ass. Uh, um, I've seen it, yeah, no. It's uh, been making the rounds on the internet. Here, I got the GIF right here. Oh, we got it in motion? I think so. I mean, that is a... Look like yeah. Uh, Watch this. Boom! Don't, don't, don't! That is a caboose. Get lost in there. That is a caboose, as they say. Get lost in there. All right, well, I hope you get that question in. Yeah, that'll be a good one. Hopefully he hasn't been asked that before. I doubt it, but I mean, that ass is kind of everywhere. I uh, gotta ask about the ass. Uh, did that's, you know? That's, that's thick. Um... You know, I, I, I'm going to say that's his real ass because Tom doesn't cheat. He doesn't cut corners. Right. Well, except um, for when he hires like all the actors to be shorter than him. Yeah, exactly. Right. Right. But other than that, you're right. Or when are you going back? Uh, I'm going back Monday. Okay, yeah. Right. You should come to our uh, party. I think we're still going to be there. Uh, somewhere in Miami. We have amateur boxing for two and a half hours. Uh, the rough and then it's a regular shoot. party. Yeah. yeah. It's going to be fun. I like, uh, when is it? It's tomorrow night. Okay. It's a good time, and we'll, we have a v VIP area and shit that yeah. you I would go mind, to the VIP. I, would, I like the amateur. I think we're, me and my buddy are going to this DAZN. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, tonight. we saw that. Yeah, yeah. Any type of combat is good, especially like. Right. You should, dude, this is funny, like boxing. Okay. Like, you guys knock each other out. They they got, like, you got the. Uh, <laughs> you got 311. We have little guys. Right? Yeah, 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 little yeah, people, yeah. Yeah. Yes, it's a good time. But they're all amateurs, yeah, yeah. so they just swing and tire each other out. Yeah. Usually yeah. some knockouts. I don't think there's headgear, right? No headgear. No head I like gear. the one dude, uh, whatever, I saw some highlight. He like fucking like Goldberg's fucking. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's just like that's what I fucking did. Yes, yeah. in the middle of the fight. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you should come. Cool man. Yeah, yeah I'll, get the, uh, I'll get the yeah. info. Yeah, yeah. yeah they'll get you. I'll unblock you and then I'll get it from you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're on the list for tomorrow. Yeah, cool. All right, see you guys. Thanks so much, Thank you. Appreciate it, man. The Super Bowl, Miami, celebs, fights, punches. On the thirty first. Going night night. I'm gonna whoop on somebody down here in Miami. Call out the rooster. Cock a doodle doo. Take that fucking cow suit off because you're giving milk a bad name. I'm gonna put my dick in your mouth. I'm gonna throat fuck you. The time's come, Wade. I am inevitable, baby. I'm putting your dick in the dirt, sir. Oh, that was a big right. See ya from Friday night. Oh, 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 oh,
I'm the baddest motherfucking midget in the game, and I'm gonna take that belt from you. Come and get it. Apparently, I'm supposed to fight this big cow fucking hick from West Virginia. You fought a girl the last time, you can't even knock her out. You're gonna find a man this time, and I'm gonna break you. It's gonna be a cold day in hell before I lose to some guy who looks like he should be on fucking Duck Dynasty. You already got a list. It's gonna be ten times worse after I'm done with it. You ain't nothing but a bitch. All right, so yeah, put that up like you're uh, back a little bit higher. Uh, great. All right, hit it. Uh, Wait, so I just I, I'm with Barstool Sports. Barstool Sports, Barstool Sports yeah, Miami. Here's one. Here's a couple clues about like who I am, or to guess who I am. You're good. I'm right here with Barstool Sports in Miami. Uh, here's a clue about me. Um, I, I've grabbed my nuts on the sideline before. <laughs> That's phenomenal. That one's Thank you, sir. To figure out. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot. See you guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yo, what's, what's up, guys? Bro? What up, man? How you doing? Yes, you too. Glad you're here, bro. Thank you, man. Thank what's up? Good to see you. Yeah. You ready to just walk right on? Yeah, yeah. All right. We're right. Got my eye shaker. Yeah. <laughs> just like last time. That one's bigger. Just like bigger. last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no problem. Drunk. Yeah, you gotta have it. You guys no, 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 what? It's my, yeah, my buddy Tony Shepard who played know, the NFL. He'll pump he'll pump it up. You you got pump, it. Pump, pump, pump it up. Pump, pump, pump it up. Let's do that. Right, yeah, let's get all the right, Let's do that. Right, pump, I'll start pump, it. Pump it up. Chelsea. Chelsea Bulldog. I think it's Chelsea Bulldog. Pump, 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 pump it up. Pump, 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 pump it up. Go Chelsea Bulldog. Like that? Yes. Alright. Chelsea. All right, Chelsea, Chelsea Bulldogs. Bulldog. Ready? Chelsea, Chelsea, Chelsea Bulldogs. Bulldogs. Chelsea Bulldogs, big game coming up. I'm ready to pump you up. Let's win this game, get tough, and I got some guys here who might pump you up. Pump, Chelsea pump, Bulldogs, pump. let's go! Pump, 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 pump it up! 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 All right, Woo. let's go, Chelsea. Yeah. When you have Ohio State, the Ohio State's hot place for two on the other. Yeah, but when I went to school, we beat Ohio State 11 straight. Yeah, that was like they never beat us. So it's. But wait, but in the last 18 years, how many times have we beat them? Zero. Once. And that was 2012. Yeah, and that was the year like uh, the. I'm, I'm, I'm arguing, but I'm I'm on the same page with you. I want Michigan to do well. I just I'm like I, what? Yeah, so what I, do you what do you do to make them better? So now? Harbaugh has been there long enough in my mind where he's never got like this is what you are. You're fucking Wisconsin. It ain't it. We're Wisconsin. Wisconsin kicked the shit out of us. I know. So I know. Wisconsin, I know. Wisconsin. Like the only excuse Michigan people have is like, well, we won't take fucking criminals and convicts and idiots. But why not? Everyone deserves a second chance. I, you know what I'm saying? I could care less who we take. But can, oh, you're saying we take them. I say we do. But you're I saying say, you're a proof of it. I am. I, yes. Yes. I'm a convict, <laughs> and, I, and I made it to Michigan. Well, I made it out, baby. You're like you're saying you had didn't have the grades to get in, but you got it. Uh, we're, we're yeah. here. Well, right. No, no. I had the grades. I ended up getting the grades. It's a sliding scale. My ACT hey, was so high that my my GPA. What's up, man? Oh, hello. What's up? Taylor Warren. Nice to meet you. Did you join a real company? Yeah. yeah. I know that was cool all along. That was a fake thief. Oh, How you doing? Smoking mirrors. Doing well. 
I, uh, we're setting up a rough and rowdy b- bout between you guys. Okay, nice. Next year, we're going to have Vrabel on the show, and we're going to have him say he's going to cut off his dick if you guys win the Super Bowl. That piece is hey, still I'll on t- there. Hey, do you, do you realize when they lost is when he cleared the air and said he wasn't really going to do it? What? And then you guys fucking lost. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was, I, if we won that game, I was fully going to – I was going to come in, like, you know, the pregame line. with yeah. a nurse's outfit, like a, dog, a surgeon's yeah. outfit on and a knife yeah. in my hand. We're storyline all Super Bowl. We've been amazing. Awesome, <laughs> Sorry about the loss. That happens, dude. Beat the Pats. And the ring. <laughs> oh man, he just threw that yeah, right I got, in like, I got too many rings in my ears, I can't even hear what he said. Oh, yeah, there it is. He's gonna go to the pass and win the Super Bowl next year. Wow, well, I don't know about that. Uh, mm-hmm. AFC, AFC's got a little bit of a change going on. There's a storm brewing. Who's your quarterback? Storm Henry. Brian dude. Tannehill. Yeah. Resurrect. Yeah, all right. We'll Resurrect see how long that lasts. We'll see What's how long it? that lasts. Listen, nobody can have 20 year careers. Not everybody can have 20 year careers like Tom Brady. The, the greatest greatest football player of all time. The, the, they'll reload, they'll win the Super Bowl. Bang. I don't know, man. I don't know about that speech. I don't I, the, the, you know. I feel like when you said that, you didn't even believe it. I actually thought you guys were going to beat Kansas City. Shows you what I know. I thought we were beat Kansas City, too. There was, there was no option for me to even be here this week. I really thought Kansas City was over. Pat Mahomes. Pat Mahomes is the new Tom Brady. I, I like to watch my guys win like six Super Bowls before I say he's the next Tom Brady. You guys have only won six Super Bowls. So I have to wait 20 years? Well, I mean, it's the most. Like, Tom Brady has more Super Bowls himself than any franchise. Pretty True. good stat. No, Tom Brady. He's the best football player of all time, no question. Is his name Trent? Yeah. Iowa. You went to Iowa? Yeah. I owe the world an apology, man. Iowa City is a tough place to play. That's a hard place to play. I know it is. He also has, like, ask him for his uh, high school football tape. He'll show you in one hand an interception. He has one? Yeah. You tell me that guy didn't play off his line? No, he's a, well, he was a linebacker. I don't know if he played both sides. He probably played a little bit of everything. Hey, Trent. He's the most Iowa looking guy we got. Yeah, it's like, like he's made in the lab. Like an assembly line of Iowa people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a hey. st- that's a stock train for Iowa. Yeah, that's what I. Uh, did you play high school football? What position did you play? You lying? Am I lying? Yeah. Did you play offensive line also? Let's see it. How many views it got? How many views? No. <laughs> it's on House this of Highlights. This guy has two of these trophies. This is me. How long is this highlight? It's two. You played four years of high school and you have two minutes and thirty-two and a half highlights. I played. It's two senior years. It's just the two. And you only have two minutes of highlights. I got two and a half minutes. Let's check it out. We can. I got offered. I got offered twenty offers off of two games. Um. So there's a thing's gonna a thing's gonna pop up and tell you that's me. That's there. you. Yeah. Here I go. Get a ball recognition. Oh, I took the line. I jumped, high, I jumped high off on the, the ball. Back you, no hands, high you, you didn't have any block. hands there. You just no shock and shed. Here we go. See. What are you? Why are you? Why my are mind's you? working. My mind's working. My body sometimes doesn't respond go back. as fast. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Why don't your hands work the entire time? Look at this. Watch your arms. They what? haven't pumped once, and you've taken 46 steps. Look at me going. Now I'm picking up speed. <laughs> I don't think you are. <laughs> there is no arms. You see at the same that, pace. that was a four out of ten the entire time. Let's fast forward to the real part that you need to see. This part here. Let's look at these skills. This guy, that's me there. Yeah. There I go. Look at that recognition. Get ready for it. Fucking boom. That's a one handed pick. That thing that's, a one-handed pick. That's, a one-handed pick. that's a one handed pick. How full was that football? That looks exactly like the Kept routine the tackles, you don't gotta put the routine stuff. Do you get an offer? Um no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did not. Okay. Fair. I did not. Here I'm gonna jump this route and then I'll let you go. Watch me jump this route. This is a game saving touch. They're they're driving right now. Boom, there I go. Oh, you take it house? No, I didn't make it. They caught me. <laughs> <laughs> no way! They caught me. Wait, let me see. They caught me. They oh, you me did it before there. it was all over. Yeah, they catch me down there. How but many How many views you got on that thing? Uh, 44,000? You knew. Don't pretend like you didn't know. I, I don't, I don't, I don't if it was like 368, you wouldn't know, but 44,000? I only watch it a couple times a hey, month. Hey, That's hey, it. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Tape. They weren't that impressed. They, they thought it should be longer. It's only two and a half minutes. But You just play the hits. You got to play the hits. We have a special announcement today. Well, yeah, we got we, we keep adding to this empire that we're building. So, bussin' with the boys. Pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. Yeah, yes. Uh, uh, is joining our network, Taylor Wan, Will Compton. This is how you guys have been if you haven't heard the podcast, it's very good. They do it in a bus. 
I guess you stole it from PMT, you stole it from me, and then it all comes from yeah. my brain and goes downhill. It's literally no just one funnel of greatness going into a concentrated version of a bust. Yes. I went to Oakland mid-year. In the summertime, I want to say Gaz or somebody reached out. Yes. DM the uh, bus and account. Said, would you guys be interested in talking to us? We get on the phone. Uh, Gaz and Erica flew out. We met and sat with them. And then we kind of were like, hey, we're kind of going about the year. Let's stay in touch and figure something out because we're definitely interested. And then I took off to Oakland. We stayed in touch with Erica. And, uh, yeah, and then we were at your guys' spot. What was that, two weeks ago? Yeah. Not even. Yeah. Favorite band, favorite band of all time. You made it. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. So good to see you. Come on this in. Is yeah, set it up around here, huh? So, like, as soon as it's over, like, it's, once you stop the IV, you feel totally fine. Everything's normal. Really? Yeah, you should I try it. I've never had an IV. Ever? Yeah. You guys coming to Rough and Rowdy tonight? Oh, yeah. We'll be there. Very cool. Is it a pretty good time? It's really good. This one, is like, this is redneckery as, as it looks? It's on, it, this one, not that it's not redneckery, but it's like Miami trash. So it's not as, plus wait. midgets, plus uh, we got 260 pounds versus 200 pounds. I'll feel right at home. It's like Bonter, Missouri in a ring. I think we got a 6'7 guy fighting a 5'5 five, five guy. It's like that, huh? The, the good stuff. Jeez, the good stuff, yeah. Okay. And if I ever get touched on my left side, I'm more sensitive. Like if I get a massage I know you're and someone touches my left side, I get a boner easier. So Is do you want me to take that side? You can have whatever side you want. If I'm on you this side, if I'm on this side, right side. Than, uh, I'm gonna, it's going to happen. I don't care. Okay. And like Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan stuff, like performance recovery stuff, and we just like podcasting. And uh, I wanted to have one. He's like, y'all do it. And I was like, it made it easier for me because right. it's like you're not doing it. You're not on your own about it. Should we try? This is... I don't care, okay, bro. Why not? Oh, wait, did he get in trouble with you? Yeah. Did he get in trouble? Yes. Oh, sure. <laughs> well, we to... Next time. Was building a professional Next time. Quality yeah, spot. exactly. I'm trying to do it. And we got footage with Barstool, like, hey, do this, no, do this, do this, yeah. And no press is bad press until you get shut down. Yeah, no doubt. I want to put, put my own in. But it's so hard to go this way. If, if you could do it like that, it'd be way easier. Yeah. You can be like the Barcelona IVs, like unapologetically doing it however you want to do it. Yeah, just like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've never had the chemo treatment before, but I can I feel like this is it. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing it. It feels like it feels like something's inside I, and it's choking your heart. That's, That's what you want me to do? No, you're gonna no, do No, not this. Push. We don't want you to do an IV. We want to do a magnesium push. That initial rush of magnesium as it goes into your body feels like the initial rush of heroin. Wow. I've never done heroin, I've just been told that. Allegedly. Yeah. Bussing with the boys. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heroin with the boys. Heroin with the boys. <laughs> boys. Oh, yeah. No, oh, you, like, you, you just feel kind of, like 30 minutes, you just feel no, chill. Not like, the, not the like, not, not like, like, uh, like well, tired. Just like, like, you just feel, you feel good. Right? Like, I got a lot of people that just love like the way it feels. Like, okay. and, and it lasts 20 yeah. seconds. Well, and you're just chilling. Chill. Okay. Yeah, you Taylor it's says it's like a hug from the inside. Yeah, it's like an internal hug. Wow. <laughs> your ball you size is your taint. Your taint, your asshole, everything will get like really yeah. warm. I have to. to be For the boys, hey, you have busting to with the boys, boys and I, I'm going to turn down their invitation. Like, I can't do that. Type of Instagram story guy. Go, bro. I'm ready, my man. Let's fucking go, dude. For the boys. For, For the, the bus, fucking boys, dude. Boys. I need to do more. Are you nervous? I don't, uh, I don't know what I am right now. You scared needles? Not scared. Well, that's over. He, uh, he slides it in gently, doesn't he? He was great. Jeez. I did say 2020 is all about new experiences for me, so. This will count as one of those. Pretty good. With the boys. With the boys. <laughs> this is a very much a Paul Rudd moment right here. So we're doing a big easy and push. You'll feel this in just a moment. <laughs> Not me. Not me. Hey, look at us. <laughs> Yeah, we just made him healthy. We did, so honestly, good. Yeah, ultimately, it's like I, I thought this is it. It's gonna be bad. Yeah, that's already in. I've already pushed it and pulled the healthy back out. So you'll feel oh. it. Oh, head, head, oh. Chest, neck. oh, 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 what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah. so I'm peeing myself. I'm pooping myself. My throat's on fire <laughs> in a cool way. 
I'm doing this every fucking day. <laughs> wow. The The boys. The boys. The boys. <laughs> the boys. <laughs> the boys. <laughs>